y'all, I'm Erica Fulick, and we're here at Frazier taking a look at the three brand new Bay County units. They're gonna be headed to Panama City, Florida this week. Let's take a look inside. Bay County has chosen to do the striker power load, which makes it easy on their paramedics' backs because it auto loads for them. And um, we've also done the Lawn Coin Onyx flooring. It has a little bit of a, a no slip, so it has a little bit of a grip on it. It's also easy to clean. Here at the squad bench, we've done the six point harness and at the CPR seat, we've done a six point harness as well. As for the Lexan doors on the IO, we have recently upgraded them to match the rest of the interior and lock into place. Then over here on all of our interior cabinets, we have the Life Defender Austin hardware cabinets with this fancy restocking feature. It allows you to do all of your inventory at one time instead of having to open and close doors and switch things out. We also have a fancy inventory tag hole here so you can put your tags through there so that the next shift is ready to go. Also, you'll notice on the inside, we have this fancy white Lasco material. It's very easy to clean as well as taking off the cushions that are held on by magnets. So you can clean back behind there. In our AC, we have a UV plenum, which disinfects the air as it circulates through. And down here, we also have storage that you can get at the CPR seat or the squad bench side. Um, and a lot of our customers use this to store their ballistics gear and keep it out of the way. Bay County chose to go with the seven inch Voyager monitor and backup camera combo. This allows them to see what's happening behind them at all times kind of acts like a rear view mirror. They also have sound capability in case they need to hear what's going on behind them. And if you come inside, here we have the liquid spring suspension panel. So you have a few different modes you can put it in. Um, in sport mode, it's gonna react a lot faster than if it were in comfort mode. We also have the option to add a front axle liquid spring suspension if you choose to do so. This is a Type 1 12 foot on a Dodge Ram 3500 diesel with the MEPS as the power option. These guys opted for the grill guard with wraparounds and wheel and M4 series lighting, as well as the wheel and siren speakers and a set of air horns. We uh, wrapped the top of the truck with black wrap and then we also did some reflective striping along the side. We also did white reflective strips on the interior of all the compartments to help others see when these doors are open. And then we have all adjustable shelving in the exterior compartments as well. And also some gas shocks to keep these doors from flying open in the wind. And here we have the rear storage compartment where these guys have decided to do a divider on this side so it allows them to put their stair chair standing up. They have one adjustable shelf, and then once again, you can see this reflective stripe on the compartment door. We did the Chevron conspicuity on the rear. And then we also have the Voyager backup camera, like I mentioned earlier. Here we did, because they did MEPS, they have an extra gear compartment on the passenger side. Thanks for joining me on this unit tour for Bay County EMS. We're excited to get these three units picked up this week and headed out to Panama City, Florida. If you'd like more videos, check out FraserBuilt.com.